Hi, this is Professor Scott Norman in the Automotive Lab at Pittsburgh State University, and today we're having another lesson on air conditioning. I just fully charged a 2011 Chevrolet Equinox with 1.43 pounds of refrigerant. I started it up, and now I'm doing a performance test on the vehicle. Uh, I have the vehicle on full cold, on recirculation, uh, blower motor on high. Uh, the vehicle is fully warmed up. It's roughly 71 degrees in the shop with 36% uh, humidity. And so the vehicle has been running now for 10, 15, 20 minutes. And I am still getting, if you notice, lots of cycling. This is a TXV system. So the evaporator is getting cold enough where freeze-up uh, 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 freeze protection is enabling, causing the compressor to uh, cycle. So uh, the doors and windows are open and we're still cycling. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch it over to uh, fresh air to try to stop the cycling. I'll be right back. Okay, so the vehicle is blowing out 40 degree air with this cycling going on. And uh, now it's on fresh air, so we're getting that good heat from the engine uh, being pulled into the car area. And so hopefully that gives it a, enough of a heat load where it stops the cycling. We're able to look at our gauge readings to be able to get a more consistent reading as far as what's normal. Uh, the shop is pretty cold right now, so I'm expecting the gauge readings to be uh, probably on the low side of normal because there's just no heat load inside the vehicle right now. I'm going to come around to the front to see what the gate readings currently are. I can hear that the, uh, th that the compressor has stopped cycling. So it looks like we got about 170 on the high side. The uh, low side is around, um, looks like 28, 29 PSI. So those are uh, gauge readings that are typical. Next, I'm going to go into the, uh, the vehicle and make sure it's still blowing out 40 degree air. I'm going to I'm going to then uh, shut off the AC system and we're going to see how long it takes for this system to equalize to make sure that there's no restrictions or anything like that in the system. Make sure that the TXV is operating normally. Okay, so the vehicle is still blowing out 40 degree air, uh, even though it was on uh, fresh air. So, so again, it's blowing nice and cold. Uh, as far as the um, equalization, if you notice the, uh, the, the uh, low side jumped up quite a bit and now it's slowly equalizing. So when you shut off the system, that TXV was probably open just a little bit and then, and, and then we shut off the vehicle, the, the, the actual TXV closes off a little bit. And so um, we shut it off at around maybe the three minute mark, uh, give or take a little bit on the video. And so uh, we will watch the gauges and see how long it takes to equalize. And then we'll come back at the end.
Well, you know that old saying, it's as fun as watching paint dry, or it's fun as watching grass grow. Now we can say it's as fun as watching AC gauges equalize. So on a TXV system, especially on a single zone system, uh, it's a, only a front system. It doesn't have a rear system on it whatsoever. So when you want TXV, that that system will close off and equalizing is very slow on a TXV system. I want to make sure all my students know that that's normal. So the big thing that you're going to want to watch is that, you know, that low side gauge was at 30. And as soon as we shut it off, there was a jump. You know, there was a small jump because the TXV was open at that point, And then it closes down. And then we start getting very, very slow. If you have a restriction in the system, you're not going to see that jump. And these gauges are going to take extremely long to equalize. I've had students that have, you know, turned the system off for hours and the gauge readings are still down at 30 and the high side is still at above 150. And so, so right now the gauge readings, you know, if you look at the low side reading, you know, it's at about 60. Uh, the high side reading is dropping down below 140. So again, this, this may take another, you know, 10 minutes to equalize. It may take another 20 minutes to equalize. You know, technicians aren't just going to stand around and watch this. If they think there's a restriction, they're going to shut the system off. They're going to watch for that jump. If they feel, if they see that jump, hey, that's going to be a, uh, uh, something that is indicating that it's, it's good. They may walk away and start doing something else for a while. Come back after 10 minutes and take a look at the gauge readings and say, okay, they're moving, so they're doing something. So remember, this is not the only indicator. This is just one indicator out of many to determine if there's a restriction in the system or maybe the TXV is stuck open. Uh, again, you're looking at your gauge readings, you're looking at those, you're feeling the lines, you're seeing if there's any uh, difference in temperature where there shouldn't be. You know, this is just one in indicator out of, out of many. So we're not gonna watch this whole thing equalized because again, we don't like watching paint dry or the grass grow or AC gauges equalized. I'm Scott Norman here at Pittsburgh State University. If you're wanting more lessons on air conditioning, please follow my or uh, subscribe to my Professor Pintain YouTube channel. And I'm also on Facebook. Just look for Professor Pintain. You guys have a good day. Thank you.